Hello fans, I have important news in today's video. Liverpool now wants to sign a player that Manchester City sold for only £2 million in 2020. I also bring information about today's match between Liverpool and Chelsea. Let's talk about the Reds' interest in the young promise from Eintracht Frankfurt. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Liverpool won't be able to count on six players due to injury when facing Chelsea tonight on Wednesday. Let's check out the absences for the match. Thiago Alcantara Thiago Alcantara's return is getting closer, but Klopp confirmed he's still not ready to return to the pitch. Thiago trained for the first time, which was an emotional moment after months of absence due to injuries. He's training at a high level, but Klopp emphasized he needs more time to fully prepare. Stefan Bajcetic Another player who has been absent for a long time is Stefan Bajcetic, a midfielder for the team. He's sidelined, but there are expectations that he'll return in February. Klopp clarified that Bicetic won't be ready by the end of this month, but he's progressing without complications in his recovery. Ben Doak Ben Doak hasn't returned to training yet after suffering a knee injury during a U21 match in December. Leinders explained that Doak ruptured the lateral meniscus and will need surgery. Recovery may take time, but there's optimism that he'll come back stronger. Salah and Kostas Tsimikas Salah and Kostas Tsimikas are unlikely to be available again until mid-February. Their absences may temporarily affect the team's tactical options. Joel Matip Joel Matip, a key player for the team, is expected to miss the remainder of the season due to an ACL injury suffered in December. His absence represents a significant challenge for the defensive sector of the team. Wataru Endo Wataru Endo, a midfielder representing his country in the Asian Cup, is also out of the game for now. His absence may be felt, especially in terms of depth in the midfield. Liverpool is interested in signing Tozen Adarabioyo, a player whom Manchester City sold to Fulham for a small fee in 2020, according to the Mirror. This potential transfer raises questions about the impact it could have on Manchester City. According to the Mirror, Manchester City could face a financial loss with this transfer, as Liverpool seeks a free deal when the defender's contract expires this summer. The Manchester Evening News reports that Manchester City negotiated a 20% sell-on clause in Adara Bioyo's transfer for £2 million to Fulham in October 2020. However, the citizens will only profit from this clause if Liverpool approaches Fulham for a permanent deal before Thursday's transfer deadline and pays a fee, which seems unlikely. According to the Mirror, Fulham wants to retain the 26-year-old player. But Adara Bioyo also attracts interest from Milan and Tottenham, in addition to Liverpool keeping his options open. The fact that a player developed in the City Football Academy, like Adarabioyo, is linked to transfers to major clubs such as Liverpool, Milan and Tottenham, highlights the emerging talent level of Manchester City. It is hoped that Adarabioyo's transfer will result in a payment, allowing Manchester City to profit from the 20% sell-on clause. The Build newspaper recently reported that both Liverpool and Arsenal are eyeing one of this season's surprises. Eintracht Frankfurt midfielder Hugo Larsson. Larsson joined Frankfurt during the summer, coming from Malmo for a fee of 9 million euros. Initially, his signing was aimed at the future, with plans to gradually integrate him into the team. However, the 19-year-old has surprised everyone by becoming an essential piece in Frankfurt's midfield, delivering remarkable performances against giants like Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. Despite having a contract with Frankfurt until 2028, without any apparent release clause, and considering that the club is unlikely to be willing to part ways with the Swedish talent anytime soon, a potential transfer of Larsson could involve a substantial sum. Frankfurt, confident in the player's potential, estimates his value at up to 80 million euros in any future negotiation. Therefore, Premier League teams, especially Arsenal and Liverpool, have shown interest in Larsson. However, any attempt to sign him could be challenging, given Frankfurt's high valuation and the interest of other European teams. Larsson's prospect as one of the most promising young talents in the European scene certainly puts him on the radar of several elite clubs across Europe. According to reports, Paris Saint-Germain coach Luis Enrique will be pressuring Kylian Mbappe to transfer to either Real Madrid or Liverpool this summer. The French player's contract is set to expire at the end of the season, making him free to negotiate with clubs outside of France for a possible free transfer. Real Madrid is touted as the favorite to acquire Mbappe, 
Despite Liverpool's expressed interest and rumors suggesting potential destinations like Manchester United, Arsenal, or Chelsea. While a transfer to Liverpool was deemed unlikely due to financial concerns, Mohamed Salah's possible departure could pave the way for Mbappe's arrival, especially if Liverpool can secure a substantial fee for Salah's sale. There have been speculations about PSG offering Mbappe 100 million euros per season to keep him at the club. However, journalist Daniel Riolo from RMC suggests that Luis Enrique's planned role for Mbappe may influence his decision to leave PSG. Riolo points out that Mbappe is uncomfortable playing as a number nine and that his relationship with Enrique is strained, with the coach making decisions without explanation and displaying selfish attitudes. This could prompt Mbappe to seek new challenges at other clubs. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Until next time.